He's sunbending. Ah. Light bending. Could firebenders move the sun? No, it's too far away. Too far away. There's the uh, there's a limit of distance. Hmm. But yeah, they can create fire and they can manipulate fire. Yeah. So I didn't ask this question, but Ang or Ang was yes. saying that there's a cycle to things. Yes. That he needs he's the avatar of of the air nomads. So uh -huh. He needs to learn water first. He didn't necessarily have to. No. In the cartoon he doesn't they they say there is a cycle, but they don't necessarily have to learn it in that way. Is it easier? It's maybe personality goes into a lot of how you bend yeah. and how well you bend. Yeah. Aang is a very um, passive, uh, go with the flow, avoid yeah. conflict kind of person. Yeah. So water would be his next easiest oh, okay, element. Okay. Um, earth and fire are very different elements compared to his personality. Yeah. So in those seasons, it's hard for him to learn those elements. Yeah. Also, doesn't he try to learn firebending relatively early? He does. He, it just doesn't work out, he, right? It, he kind of fails and is a little traumatized by it. Yeah. So he really struggles with fire. Yeah. So the, there's an order... To the he, cycle. To the cycle, like of the avatars being born. So it yes. was two re reincarnations ago as Earth. I'm assuming it was fire. Right after, before him. Right before him. Uh -huh. And then Korra is water. water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I pieced that together without... Looking up anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the movie I, I don't know. hints at it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they talk about Roku being the last guy, and yeah. he was holding a fire emblem. Yeah. In the uh, fire emblem in the temple. <laughs> That's another one that they could make a movie out of. Yeah. Fire emblem. That would yeah. be yeah. And there's so many or a TV series. Yeah. There's yeah. so many lines they can go. So many games that they could pick one and have a good story. There we go. But we're not talking about fire emblem. We're no, talking we're not. about a game of death. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Death. Game of Death. Game of um, Death. That's before this movie. Have you? How many times have you seen this movie, Jesse? This is your pick, so uh, more times than I want to admit. Uh, at least four times. At least four times. Yeah. I think I've seen it at least three times, including this time. Yeah. Okay. First time. First time. Because yeah. you you've never really watched Bruce. Lee. And we're actually no. going out of order of Bruce Lee's release, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we did this because of No Good November, but yeah. if you're going in order, we we did the first one, which was The Big Boss. Mm -hmm. Then we did uh, Chinese Connection or mm -hmm. Fist of Fury. Way of the Dragon's next. Oh, okay. This is partially filmed after Way of the Dragon. Right. And then the rest is filmed after Enter the Dragon, which was his fourth movie. Okay. Completed movie. Fifth movie, Game of Death, is partially incomplete. Yeah. And then they... I would feel like... Destroyed. Partially complete is a better Partially thing. complete. Mostly yeah. incomplete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, all right. Were you expecting anything from this movie other than... I, I just expected jankiness because he didn't get to finish filming everything he wanted to before yep. his unfortunate time. Yep. Okay. So it was, it was kind of what I imagined... It was it, uh, it was kind of worse than what I. Imagined. I was about to say, yeah. Hopefully, it was worse. It, it was worse. It was it was very jarring to try to piece things together. Yeah, I like I realized pretty early on, it's like, oh, okay, this is where they had to kind of hide the main character at this point. Yeah, whether it's helmets or disguises, and I just I I feel like and John kind of. Um, pointed it out that this was kind of filmed for a Western audience, so I would yeah. I don't know how the Cantonese or the Mandarin versions are. I yeah. re I was reading their slight differences in yeah. the edit, so I'm curious with how they either sound because dubbed Chinese films in English for me j is just weird. I I don't like it most of the time, yeah. Especially when they overdo the kias. Yeah. When they do punches or the punching or kicking sounds, it's just overdone for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Another thing that I kind of, I, I'm not really too sure about it, but one, one thing that I kind of mentioned to Albert yesterday is like when, when recording this, I'm almost positive that they wanted to keep the voice actor for Billy Lowe to, to be the same, right? Cause, Throughout the whole. Because like even in scenes with Bruce Lee in it, except for like the end where he's already fighting, like it just seemed like they were voicing over with whoever was acting for him. 
uh, there is no Bruce Lee audio whatsoever. Game of Death, I think it was filmed silently. The mm. original in 1972. Okay, and then dubbed over. Yeah, dubbed over. Okay. Okay, so, so yeah. So okay. it, was, it was all the one... I feel like there was two voice actors. It was really weird. There's two actors that play. Yeah, it's two play that play Bruce Lee. So it's probably those two. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. They should have been consistent if they did it. Yeah. Uh, One was definitely more over the top than the other. (laughs) Yeah. At at the very beginning, where it was like, yeah. They they bear resemblance to Bruce Lee, but it's not enough to like. Yeah. To zoom into his face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, let me go ahead and get into the introduction of the movie. it's directed by Robert Klaus. Uh, it also credits Bruce Lee as the director. I'm assuming just because of like the earlier on stuff, the yeah. pre-death uh, stuff. Yeah, obviously pre-death. <laughs> pre- <laughs> pre-death. That sounds so weird. Sounds while he was alive. Yeah, yeah, while he was alive. Yeah. Pre-death, game of death. Pre- <laughs> the, the pre-death of this movie is what I mean. Uh, anyway, uh, tagline is Bruce Lee challenges the underworld to a game of death. The tagline right there sounds so good. Of course it does. Like, I love Bruce Lee. I love conspiracy theories. I love stuff like that. The premise alone would be a 10 out of 10 for me, but yeah. the movie itself is so bad. Yeah. From from what I read on the trivia, I don't know how true the trivia is, um, that when they talk about under, Underworld, they're just talking about, like, the, the crime, the criminals. Not like actual underworld people, right? I mean, there. What do you What do you mean? What's the difference? Like, I don't know. He's, he's thinking about the crime underworld. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought I thought you were alluding to like videos that you showed me like, like what? way back in the day. I don't know what videos you're talking about. Okay, Jesse's <laughs> memory is pretty bad, but um. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, budget of <laughs> budget estimated at. That's not right. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, I didn't do this. Maybe eighty-five. Maybe eighty-five million. Let me. Let me. Eight hundred and fifty million. The most expensive movie. I don't million. think it's eight hundred. Uh, yeah, maybe I just mistyped. Um, you added a zero for sure. Let me. Let me look up the actual uh, budget. That's how much it costs for the film of Bruce Lee's alone. No, okay. Eight hundred fifty thousand. Eight hundred fifty thousand. Okay. Estimated. Zeros. Yeah. So you added three, three extra zero? Three. 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 <laughs> three. Yeah. Wow. Um, you deleted one zero too many. 850,000. Yep. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all messed 85, up. 85,000. We're just dumb. <laughs> Ooh, we're just dumb. Uh, release date June 8th, 1979. Runtime of one hour and 40 minutes. Rated R. Uh, I couldn't find a true box office on IMDb. Uh, Wikipedia had... A, a number but i'm not really sure like it just said 50 million us and then when i looked at the the wikipedia page it just had like a bunch of like just random numbers thrown out there so i was just like ah, yeah. i'm just gonna put in a uh it's i couldn't find anywhere where it's streaming on it might be streaming on amazon's free it's called the freebie or something like that i think it is I don't maybe know. Um, but we watched it on Voodoo. Jesse has the, the I have, movie. I have the whole, I bought, I have Game of Death. I've owned it four times, different oh, wow. versions, but it's part of collections. That's why. Mm-hmm. So. And let's go ahead and sell that sip. Or do you want to do the drink first? We can do the drink first. The drink first. Why, so it's cold. What's the significance of the drink? I just had it in my fridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, Nicole wasn't going to drink it. So it's protein. Remember? Protein. Chobani. Do you like Chobani? Chobani is okay. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it's too sweet. Yeah. It, sometimes it is. Chobani I like, complete. I like the, the Greek yogurt ones that yeah. they have with the like the snacks that you could fold it into. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he still has some leftovers from the previous episode. All right. Anyway, go ahead. Dragon fruit uh, crotch. <laughs> Dragon fruit die. Do it. Oh, my. <laughs> there was no, really no sound. All right, here you go. This is the flavor, mixed vanilla bean, with strawberry and bananas on it for some. Or it's, no, it's, it's just strawberry. That looks thick. It's, it's a yogurt thick. drink. Yeah. Have you had this before? Never. Oh, okay. It smells like Chobani stuff. I've had this one before, I think. Yeah. I think so. What would you rate it before tasting it again? I don't remember. <laughs> There's a little bit left. Someone I, wants it. I typically like yogurt drinks. Yeah. So probably this is probably like a four. Okay. Or a five. Four, but not good. I'm just kidding. 
It smells like yogurt. It smells really good. Yeah, it's it's like a light yogurt drink. That's a it's a, yeah. I like it. Definitely good when it's really cold. Yeah. It's kind of tart too. The raspberry? Mhm. It's good. Yeah. I, I give it a four and a half. Not quite five, but it's good. Five. I like it. I like yogurt. I give it a four point six seven. You want the rest of it? The protein. I drink it now. <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> I would be too. So four and a half, five. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really good. I would. Yeah, it's like a. It's not a five, but it's. I think it's better than a four. So. It's a four, but it's a five. It's a four, but it's it's, it's also really four. good. <laughs> it's really good. I would I would drink it again if yeah. I drink a lot of those. But oh, I don't. it's gone. You can't drink it again. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll never touch it again. But Just if I see it in the store one time and I'm like really thirsty and eat some protein and I would I would maybe buy it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and sell that sip now. The All actual right. movie uh, out of ten. Uh, ten yellow. Wait, what? Wait, oh, no, let me sell this up first. Sell this up before I rate it. Before we rate. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. My fault. <laughs> yeah. Uh, six word summary of the movie. Okay, I've got unfinished movie really shows in edit. Mm, yeah. I just those words hit me in the yeah. heart. That, yeah, that uh, that's how I felt most of the movie. Yeah, it's hard to ignore. It's very bad. Did you see where they? Had a cardboard cut out on the mirror. It was hard to, to not notice that. Okay, <laughs> it's like yeah. there's a there's a square here basically yeah. around yeah. this guy's head. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go next, Jesse. Go ahead. Uh, mine is unfortunately unfinished. That leaves everlasting questions. That's like eight words. It's just a lot of <laughs> syllables. <laughs> um, yeah, like this movie, this movie's bad, but because of what happened more than anything, and it just kind of like. Makes you wonder, like, what could have been? Yeah, I was reading. There's a whole entirely different plot. Yeah, that yeah. they had, and they with had to a pivot. High, whole entirely different name of the character and yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, there's documentaries and mockument. No, I don't know what the proper term is, but when it's like a documentary, but also partially completing the movie with a different actor, mm. um, it's on Amazon. I need to buy it because I've seen it before, and it's really good. And then they have documentaries with the completed, like, 40 minutes of footage that he has. That, I mean, 40 minutes that are, like, usable. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of outtakes, too. But it, this movie could have been so much better. Here goes my salad sip. They did Billy Low really low. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to clarify anything in that statement, or are you just good with main characters? Billy Low, yeah, this movie is really bad. Yeah, <laughs> I I think it's very unfair to say that this movie is. Really it's bad. really bad, really boring. It's, the martial arts yeah. is not Bruce Lee, except for the parts he's in. It's just like, and and I kind of alluded to this earlier. Like the the thing between our movies, mine and Albert's, and your movie, is like. This movie's bad because of what happened, which is unfortunate. But our movies were trying to be good, and they're just bad. Yeah. Like, it's hard to not look at this movie without context. Yeah. Like, you basically have, like, you basically already know Bruce Lee is, has passed, and this movie wasn't finished with him. Yeah. The other two movies, you could enjoy them. Um, without knowing anything else about the properties. Yeah. Watching this movie is just like, you know he's not there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like they changed the story just to like work it in some way where they could add the footage of him at the end. Right. And so, like, it is what it is. Like, yeah. But I, I wouldn't say, like, I wouldn't compare this to our movies. At oh, all. my heart. I'd watch those two movies over this movie any day. But you've watched this movie more. Yeah. Than both. Yeah, but it's also been out since 79, so. And you haven't been alive I've since started watching it at 79. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, yeah, I guess I guess we can we can rate it now out of 10. Uh, 10 Bruce Lee's. Impersonators? <laughs> impersonators, yeah. Well, out of ka <laughs> oh! uh, Albert, you go first, so I go second, and Jesse can go last. I've got, like, I, I can appreciate... W- 
some of the choreography choreography like uh maybe uh like a like a three like a three yeah yeah i'm right i'm right there with you i think it's a three um yeah it's to me the movie just became of how do we get to the bruce lee footage yeah and that's all that the storyline cared for so yeah i'm below you guys i'm at a two um the only redeemable parts about this i think the soundtrack is is decent i like mm-hmm. the soundtrack it's very catchy and then the bruce lee footage and yep. they did really good for the opening and closing credits those are very impressive yeah at the time Right, yeah, yeah, the cuts and yeah. like images within the game pieces. Yeah, that that was really good. So the Chuck Norris footage, like put into how they see it on screen. Yeah, it, that was good, but everything else is garbage. <laughs> right, and then the yeah, the homage to Bruce Lee at the end. Yeah, that's that was good, but I don't know. It's very boring. How can you make a conspiracy about Bruce Lee boring? Is I, I don't know. Yeah, it's just ah. Uh, I rather watch finishing the game, and that's a, that's an actual like spoof of Bruce Lee. Oh, okay. Yeah, first penis I saw on screen. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, thank you. You for actually sharing. said I was like, wait, <laughs> I was like, did he mean to say that? <laughs> if, when you go back and, and watch this, you're gonna see me just like <laughs> <laughs> double take. <laughs> but uh, that movie's not great, but it has a decent message to it. Okay. Yeah. And that was that fan made or is that kind of official? James Franco's in there. James Franco's in James there. James Franco is in finishing the game. Yeah. Really. It's a more of a cameo, but. Okay. Um, Did he produce this movie too, or who is he just an actor? James I think Franco. He's, I think he's just an actor. Yeah. I forgot who did the movie, but I think there's a guy from Fast and Furious. He's the main guy. Yeah. I think his name is Breeze Lou or something like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> But uh, it's just a movie about casting a person to play Bruce Lee for Game of Death. Okay. It's a very – it's it's kind of like Kong Pao, but different. Okay. It, yeah. it's James Franco has made a lot of interesting movies like that. Yeah. Because he made a similar movie to The Room. Yeah. We need to watch that. Disaster Artist. Didn't we watch Disaster it? Disaster Artist. No. I've watched it before. I haven't. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. And he made a movie about North Korea as well. Yeah, I watched that yeah. one too. Okay. I need to watch yeah. those. Yeah, that was that movie was not worth starting World War Three over almost. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, yeah, they were not happy about that movie. <laughs> yeah, they were not happy about that movie. And I understand why. That's their, I mean, yeah, that's their leader. Like they're literally <laughs> mocking Yeah, they're leader. They, yeah. So Yes. People need to be a little bit more conscious about what they make fun of. Eh. I, I, like, zoned out for a second, and when I come back, we're talking about James Franco movies, and I'm just like... We are. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Three, three, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let me go ahead and get into the characters. Uh, unless you have any trivia you want to mention. Um, mm, nothing in particular besides, like, the original footage was filmed, I believe... After Way of the Dragon, which was in 1972, no, 71, but that was released in 72. And then uh, when he got the call for Enter the Dragon, uh, he stopped this uh, and he put it on pause yeah. so he could do Enter the Dragon. Uh, he started feeling weird after Enter the Dragon. He had a couple of seizures uh, while recording audio. And the more the day of his death, he was meeting... George, I forgot his last name, but he's meeting someone for the, to, yeah. for the movie, to be in the movie. And he passed away in an apartment with an actress that was supposed to be in the movie as well. Mm-hmm. It was like cerebral something? Uh, cerebral edema, al- allergic reaction to a painkiller equagesic pill. Man. Yeah. Oof. Or that's the official story. I right. don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. What, so what was, um, what was the reason... He didn't record audio on set. It was I, just the fight scenes, I think, right? I think it's how Chinese Hong Kong movies are. Really? I Even think. though he's... He, but did he always film them overseas, or did he film any of them here in the States? I believe uh, all the movies were filmed in Hong Kong, besides oh. 
and to the dragon, which I don't know where that was filmed at. Okay. Might have been partially. I know partially in Hong Kong. Okay. And that, that and was the standard back then. It's just yeah. dub over it later. Yeah. That's okay. uh, that's what it seems like. Okay. At least for his films. Right. That's what uh, that's what I noticed with all his films. Yeah. George Lazimbi. Yeah. George Lazimbi. Right. Yeah. The 007 guy. Right. I think it was uh, James Bond. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? A lot of students. He he taught martial arts to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, Dan, I forgot his last name, but uh, he's in this movie. He's the guy with the red band, and he does the nunchucks and yeah. the sticks. Uh, he teaches Kareem Abdul Jabbar. He teaches a lot of people. I almost said Lightning McQueen, but it's Steve McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> Steve McQueen. <laughs> yeah, a lot of. A lot of people. Cars ruined his name. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that too. <laughs> Chuck Norris. He would train with Chuck Norris. Like, yeah. yeah a lot of, a lot That's of cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Uh, let me go ahead and get into the characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bruce Lee. And I, I didn't... I don't think they credited the other ones. I think they did. I saw other people's names on Wikipedia. Yeah. On Wikipedia? Yes. I didn't, yeah, I, I didn't Let's see pull him, him up on really IMDb. Quick. Let me... But anyway, Bruce Lee is Billy Lowe. Yep. Uh, let's see real quick. I can just do a quick scan. Bruce Lee in Game of Death. Uh, Tai Jong Kim also has Billy Low. Yep. I thought that was another one. Yeah, I saw two replacement and actors. Biao Yoon as Billy Low. Also biker in black. <laughs> biker in black jumpsuit. Um, There's like three bikers in black. Yeah, <laughs> green jumpsuit, white, yellow jumpsuit. Gig, Gig Young playing Jim Marshall, uh, Dean Jagger playing Doctor Land, Hugh O'Brien playing Steiner, uh, Colleen Camp playing Ann Morris, and I added Kareem Abdul-Jabbar playing Hakeem. Yeah. Um, the guy that you're referring to is uh, Dan Eno Inosante. In Santo. A, in a Santo. No Santo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then Robert Wall plays Carl Miller, if anyone cares. Interesting. Uh, I'm looking at the I am no the Wikipedia for Game of Death, the original, and there was something released July 17, 2023. I wonder if it has new footage. Oh, I gotta check it out because this footage was lost in the Golden Harvest like vault. For mm. a while, so I gotta check it out. Well, yeah, let's talk about the the good, bad, and the ugly. If you guys want to, yeah, my favorite ugly part was the cutout in the mirror. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that was like so the, bad. It looks so goofy. It's like, oh, that's <laughs> it's just the first real, ev- like, painstakingly like seeable edit of like they didn't have him. Yeah, uh, that plus all of the close up like when he's looking around or he's looking through the window it's just so bad so jarring and because they had a lot of close ups yeah it's just hard to yeah it's just hard to not think the, about it every close up was was footage from other movies and they yes. never zoomed in like he was always in the shadows covered with the beard and glasses or he was just hidden like uh, behind another actor it was just all poor attempts to hide the fact that it's not bruce lee yeah yeah i feel like they shouldn't have made this movie they should have released it the footage in another way in another whether it be a, a a documentary um like going over maybe i think there is possibly drawings in the notebook or going over the notes that bruce lee took uh, cool it would been really cool, and I think there's other better versions of this movie or uses of this film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's unfair to say. What do you mean that like they like they they spent money recording, so like they're gonna get their money's worth. Like from, yeah, the, from yeah, a business standpoint, yeah, it sucks that like I mean, don't give the guy who did Enter the Dragon the. You can tell definitely Bruce Lee had a part in Enter the Dragon and why it was so big and received so well. And without Bruce Lee's influence, I don't think this movie is as good for sure. What? 
Say that again? Enter the Dragon is way better, and not because of the director. I think it was a combination of Bruce Lee and the director that made it as good as it was. And it's a complete movie, but... Yeah. John's wondering what your point is about regarding Game of Death, though. Yeah. Uh, Because John is saying our assessment is kind of unfair to the movie. Like, hindsight being 2020, I was like, oh, yeah, don't release this. This movie sucks, but... As a business decision... Like, as a business decision, but they they're had, going to use that footage. They're going to use the footage, but... I think the only... They did it the really only, bad. I mean, we agree now, and I think people agreed back then it was bad. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, they're, they're still going to use the footage. Like, yeah. they, you're not going to record something just to put it in a vault for a document. Yeah, uh, a I mean, they didn't, they didn't record I, it. They bought the rights to it. Bruce Lee recorded it. Okay. Yeah, but still, that John's point is that, <laughs> that that makes it even like more like they invested money into it, so they're going to use it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the technicals behind it. I think but the only thing that you can really criticize them for uh, is using his funeral. Oh, that's yeah, not good. That, that's as not okay. Footage but within, yeah, yeah, the movie. yeah, not good at all. That's that's the only thing you could really criticize them for. Everything else is like, like understandable. Like if if I buy footage for a movie. I'm going to use, use that it. footage yeah. for a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it is bad, but they still, yeah. Yeah. They had all the reason to do it. They still made money off of it. Yeah, that's true. Made like, a lot of money off of it. I think Tower of Death, Game of Death 2 is in better taste, but it's, I don't think America had any play in, in that movie, but uh. yeah. Um, any favorite scenes for you? Favorite scenes? Let's see. Let's let's let me think of other than Bruce the Lee. ending. Any other yeah. favorite scenes? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Fair. fair. Um, I don't know. Just like the American, like I don't think it's mafia, but the syndicate. It was just all yeah, very boring. It was poorly set up. I feel. Yeah. And I was just like, why is it? Why are they giving them so many chances? Like they're being very lenient, and then yeah, and then they just kill him. Which it would make sense. Like you would try to kill someone who wasn't playing game with you, but yep. it's just very poorly done. I feel they didn't set up Doctor Land enough for the audience to be scared of him. Yeah, we were all worried about his his uh, underlings, but Doctor Land himself. I felt no reason to be scared of him other than knowing that he had, maybe has all the money and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a creepy old guy. Right. With a lot of money. but Yeah. Just feeding lion fish and complaining yeah. about other people all the time. Yeah. Just yeah. to whine a lot. Just a lot of meetings of, how's Billy Lowe doing these days? Like, <laughs> oh, he didn't do it? Send him another message. Yeah. It's like, come on. <laughs> I, I think the only reason why like he kept giving him chances is just because of how big of a star he was. Yeah. Right. So like they they really don't want to kill him if they can convince him otherwise. If they can yeah. pressure him. They can squeeze his squeeze. They can squeeze his make that's, abs. That's Harvey's <laughs> dance <laughs> squeeze. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Harvey does. Oh, well, isn't it? Well, is it yeah, this is what they say in, ba- in Batman. Batman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's his squeeze. What's his? What's his, his main squeeze? Yeah, his main squeeze. <laughs> Do it, John. <laughs> huh, I'm a dog chasing cars. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? I, By a gunshot wound to the face. <laughs> I jumped into and crowded, took a gunshot wound to the face. <laughs> and then they asked me, why so serious? <laughs> Billy Lowe? <laughs> Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> but just on one side. <laughs> just on one side, yeah. yeah. Although in the, in the, like, some scenes he has scars on both sides of his face. I'm guessing just because, like, they removed his, they removed his face. I didn't, couldn't tell if that was scars or the lighting reflecting through the glasses. There's definitely like yeah. There's there's not shadow. No, yeah. no. There's two circles, right? No, no. For me, I recognize a circle on the left and then a separate mark on his right. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. Um. The voice acting for Bruce Lee in this is very like super monotone, very boring, no reaction. 
Yeah. You thought the one dimensional character. I just want you to character. go in. <laughs> yeah, the, d- d- the delivery was bad. And then for me, just the sounds while fighting is even worse. Oh, that it's was really so bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, and that, these are the bad sounds. There's better sounds using this footage. And I can hear those over right. this one. Yeah. I was reading um, in some of the Cantonese versions, there's there are Bruce Lee lines hmm. that are there. Maybe not the English version. Yeah, yeah, I, the Cantonese. Yeah, yeah. So I like I I like to listen to that if you still have. Um, a I copy. have I have four copies of this movie. So <laughs> yeah, and they have like the different um, audio tracks. audio tracks. I'm pretty okay. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's listen to that. Yeah. Um, I don't know that like. Billy Lowe was like the performance was bad. The main actress was bad. Um, some of the American actors, like the mafia bosses, not that great. I think who is the guy with the cane and the sword? Uh, uh Gig Young's character, Marshall. Her, Marshall. No, yeah. I mean no. Marshall, Marshall was the newspaper guy. Marshall, and Jim? then uh, what was right. his name? Steiner. You don't have him on here, but Stein. Oh wait, here, yeah. Uh, Hugh Mar- O'Brien. Oh yeah, Marshall was the newspaper yeah. guy. Yeah, I think those those are not Steiner, bad. Hugh O'Brien. Yeah, I think those were not bad. I think Gig Young was decent, um, and then Hugh O'Brien was decent, and then everything else was bad, like really bad. Kareem Abdul Jabbar coming back for like one scene, that was not good. I mean, he's he's a basketball player, not an actor, so. I heard he didn't come back for any scenes. He came back. Well, they had another stand-in for him? When they go, Akeem, can you go visit the people in blah, blah, blah? He goes, yes, consider it done. Like, Yeah, I heard I heard that's not him. That's not him? Yeah, it's the guy. It's the, the boat guy. The guy that gives them a boat ride? No, it's not him. I'm talking about different. I know who you're talking about. Yeah? But from what I said is yeah. Kareem, what I saw is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar refused to come back after. No, uh, it's good for him. Like, yeah. And then they had another. The boat guy is the, the boat guy. Boat guy is a stand-in for him. Oh, okay. Really? Oh, yeah. that's weird. For that scene. Yeah. He looks way different because he is different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I, I heard Kareem Abdul-Jabbar didn't. No, yeah. that makes sense. As one of his good friends, like Chuck Norris, didn't do any new stuff for this. Chuck oh. Norris is actually actually I saw wanted to sue the company for using his using stuff. footage yeah. yeah oh from Enter the Dragon the way, way, the way dragon. of the Dragon yeah um, there was also some other notable names that turned down parts uh, I saw Muhammad Ali was a person interesting um, hmm. Steve McQueen James Coburn, Coburn and Muhammad Ali all refused roles yeah. For reshoots or shooting past uh, his death? Yeah, because shooting. they felt like it was uh, it's just capitalizing yeah. on. Yeah. On yeah. Which, I mean, basically they did. Yeah. So Biggest star in the world at the time. Like, There's no way they wouldn't use that footage or make money off of that footage. Yeah. Yep. But sometimes, you just got to let it go. I mean, when money's involved, it's hard to. Yeah. People put out... Really bad stuff nowadays for the money. So right, and yeah, I think they I still will. Pacific Rim. <laughs> that was a passion project, <laughs> and some people like that. <laughs> and it made money. <laughs> and it, not enough to get a good sequel, <laughs> but it still made money to it make made a sequel. Enough. enough to get a good sequel with the Star Wars guy. <laughs> Star Wars guy. <laughs> Actually, there is no sequel. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, it's a prequel. That's right. It's the same way people talk about Last Airbender. There yeah. is no movie. Yeah, yeah, I I understand. <laughs> And it was a prequel, right? It's not a sequel. What? Uprising? No, it's a sequel. Oh, it's a sequel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. I understand. I hate both of those movies. <laughs> <laughs> Any favorite uh, parts of the movie other than the ending? I actually, I actually enjoyed. Although it doesn't make any sense why they're riding around bikes in the warehouse, but I actually thought that was pretty cool. It, yeah, it was cool, but silly. It was different. Really dumb. <laughs> it was it was so dumb, but it was different. Yeah, motorcycle stunts are cool. The yeah. whole point of that was just to get the jumpsuit. Like, get a different way to get the jumpsuit. Don't have don't motorcycles riding for half the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's so dumb. I, I thought it, I I enjoyed it just because it's just it's dumb, but it's also funny. Dumb. They couldn't yeah. even get the actual shoes. They have Adidas and not tigers. Like, you couldn't just buy those shoes. Um, 
I can get those shoes right now. Yeah, hard is well, that's <laughs> unfair. You got Amazon or something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Try and think of what else. I think this this movie <laughs> does a good job of showing like Bruce Lee's not always the strongest person in the world, like his other movies. Yeah. Uh, for what it's worth, like he doesn't win every fight considerably. Like, yeah, I most of the time that. he he does struggle, and when they get to the the tower, of the pagoda. Like uh, or the restaurant, I think they call it. Restaurant. Yeah. Um, which makes no sense why a restaurant has so many floors, but whatever. And it's not even a restaurant; it's just like battle, like floors. Yeah. <laughs> the first part's a restaurant. Yeah. And oh the yeah. The rest is like not just like, empty floors. <laughs> yeah. I I think, I think like, showing him like actually getting beat up every fight and like progressively slowing down because of it is yep. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but those include Bruce Lee, so yeah. But I, in general, I think the movie does a good job of showing that he's not the like invincible object that he is in every other movie. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a movie about a real person, an actor. So it's it's like the actor, yeah. But you know, Bruce Lee's legendary or iconic, or so. But even in his be, fight scenes, he gets beat up more. Yeah. Yeah, than definitely. In, in he does. Previous movies that we've seen. Yeah, and I, I feel like either those were poorly. I feel like some of those scenes were poorly executed. In Bruce Lee's scenes. In Bruce Lee's scenes, yeah. even. Yeah. Like he, he he's showing off his nunchuck skills to the other person with nunchucks, and it's close-ups from their his chest up, just moving the sticks around, and it, yeah. I, I've kind of seen that enough. I want him to see, like, I, I want to see him using it against someone instead of just waving around, intimidating the other person, which is, I think, a real thing with nunchucks. But yeah. at the same time, I want to see him use him. Yeah, I don't. I forgot the actual like story of, like, what this pagoda is mm-hmm. and like why. I think his sister's kidnapped and he's going to rescue her, and he has to fight five floors. Yes. And, the floors are progressively either difficult or they are a different component of martial arts. Yeah, I think from what I was reading on the wiki page is that yeah, different components of martial arts. Yeah, um, of of his teaching. Yeah, and he wants to show the weaknesses of each one too, and yeah. how he would defeat them. Yeah, like the tiger levels, the bottom one. I forgot what the second one was. And then the fat, the last level, the fifth level, is the level of the unknown, and it's Jeet Kune Do style mm-hmm. uh, martial arts, it was not Hakeem. being as yeah Hakim, and so it the so the movie we got sounds good on paper, yeah. Bruce Lee conspiracy, and the movie we could have got Bruce Lee's, I think would have been it would have been maybe more philosophical than some of his previous movies, and just like. Yeah, big bad, not big bad, but big good strong guy beat all the bad guys. Right. Is so which is less nuanced. Yeah, is it? Well, oh no, yeah, yeah. Well, it's his, kind of nuanced because it's trying to show off his martial arts and him trying to teach his audience about different aspects of martial arts, the yeah. spiritual side. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it got flipped for a second. Yeah. Uh, the forty minutes is available uh, there's a documentary that has it mm-hmm. i believe it's on youtube so if you are interested in seeing the original footage who i think is it's better it's not great but it, it showed the potential of what it could have been uh check it out for yourself yeah okay. i've watched that way more times than i have this movie all right <laughs> yeah sorry i didn't come in a yellow jumpsuit john i know you were you were waiting for that but i sold that because it was choking me so <laughs> How would you have done this movie differently? How would I have done this movie this differently? This specific movie, yeah. Uh, if you had this film, would you... You had to make this movie. If I had to make this movie. He passed away midway, so you had to change things up. Hmm. And Jesse Leon's name is attached to the movie? Yeah. Your name's on the line. My name is on the line. And you have to make this movie. You're getting paid to do it. Hmm. I wouldn't make it a movie. I'd make a doc- documentary, but okay. that's just me. I would just, I would go through the notes. I would go through any sketches. Ah, you're terrible. It has to be a movie. That was the question. Would you, I mean, what would you do 
<laughs> what would you do differently? What yeah. I do differently? I would just I wouldn't make it about a syndicate. Like that's that's it sounds like a good movie right there, but not with this film, and not with this footage. I would make it about a guy who is a martial artist, not a yeah. movie guy, and uh, someone kidnaps his sister or something, and they need they want something from him. They want him to do something. Yeah. And they, he doesn't agree, so they have a sister on top of a tower, and he's got to fight. Make it more like, I don't know, mythical, more... Right. Yeah. G- giving him a reason to be in that place. Yeah, not... Yeah. That he wants to be there and save someone rather than being there to fight another person. Yeah, yeah. Because he's there to basically hunt down the doctor. Yeah, and... In the real movie, yeah. Mm-hmm. And and you don't see it, but you do see it a little bit. I think there's a person laying on the ground at one point of the movie because when he's going through the floors, there's other people going through the levels either in oh. front of him or with him. But everything is cut out of the other two. Oh, yes. In the original plot, he has people coming with him. Yeah. So there's footage of um, James Chen. I don't remember his name, but he's fighting Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Mm-hmm. And that's footage of him fighting him uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar before Bruce Lee fights him. Ah, so that's why it might be... Yeah, so yeah. it's very weird. They try to squeeze every little bit of they could of this right. footage, but okay. um, I would make it about a guy who is very skilled in martial art. Maybe not the best because he's getting beat up, but he's pretty skilled. He has to rescue some relative of some sort mm-hmm. and... He learns along the way, and Bruce Lee's uh, teaching, uh, and you have someone standing in for him in the the philosophy and in the style of Bruce Lee, mm-hmm. because the like guy he needs a sensei in this movie. Do you think? Yeah, I'd say a sensei would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I definitely wouldn't do it about a syndicate and forcing him to. I mean, it's similar. They kidnap his wife, but. Uh, it's just it's too centered on not Bruce Lee because they can't utilize him. So right. they they just have to go all in and and give this guy close ups as jarring as it is. Just give this guy close ups. Get the closest looking guy you can to Bruce Lee. Yeah. Get him ripped. Get him fit. He's yeah. training for a year, or two years. It was released in what seventy nine. He has six years to train, so like uh-huh. he got got pretty good, but. It's it's just it's difficult. People want to make their money, even though if if for some reason I had the film, and I would not release it for money, mm-hmm. like I wouldn't. I would just be like, this is the forty minutes. He goes outtakes. He goes all the footage. Here you go. It's on the DVD on the Blu-ray. <laughs> so there the you DVD. go. Yeah, there you go. That's what I would do. But right, I. I don't know. I consider myself to be not affected by money, but I also don't have a lot of money. So That's probably <laughs> why. That so, have a lot of- so I I understand that once you get a lot of money, you start to be different, think different. But uh-huh. I feel as though I wouldn't go crazy if I had a lot of money. I think I think that's true. I don't I don't think so. I might buy a couple of Pacific Rim statues, yeah. that, but I mean, that's But I feel like you would be very generous. Though. Yeah. Yeah. All of you guys would be rich, too, if I had money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Jesse's never going to have a lot of money. No, <laughs> never. Because he's going to give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> How would you feel if instead of, like, Bruce Lee being the main characters, they used that footage to, like... Show him getting defeated, and then like his like brother or someone he was training, like redeems him, and it's like a completely different person. Revenge huh. story. You just described Tower of Death. <laughs> oh, that's the sequel. <laughs> yeah, so uh-huh. I think they they do that a little bit better than this one, but it's pretty much he has a brother. They kill Bruce Lee, and uh, or whatever his name is. I think it's Billy Lowe. I think it is Billy Lowe. Mm. Um, and he has to go into a fortress and fight masters and stuff. Okay. And I think the Kung Fu is better. It's better than this one. It's more 
wiry and like flying and it it's definitely better okay it's not good but better than this one but it's better than this one okay. do you think they could make that good yeah i think you could um i definitely i think if you didn't utilize the footage but you had the same character Bruce Lee was trying to portray with a different actor you could make a good movie about what game of death was supposed to be they should yeah, just shoot J- yeah. james chin then james chin yeah yeah do that yeah, like survived? it was. It's a good story. <laughs> yeah. I think they just wanted to stick with as much as they could. Like, yeah. I don't know. They could have just. They you, wanted to use Bruce Lee's footage, and they needed a reason to like have him be there at the end. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. That's why he had yeah. the would, surge, the face surgery. This is what I would have done. I would have made an entirely different movie with a different cast, not utilize the footage, right? In the spirit of brute of the movie yeah and then i would attach it as a special feature this is what this is inspired from right make yeah. just make a whole different movie yep. without any of his footage yep and i would call it i i think you could still call it game of death yeah yeah okay yeah yep uh, that's the best you... way to do it anything else you guys want to say um try remember no I can't think of anything. All right, then. Movie's not good. I only watch it for the end scenes, and I can just watch that in other forms through documentaries. Uh, There's a Chinese movie made in 2001. I forgot the name. I'll post it up here. That one's really good. Um, There's Finishing the Game. That one is... I don't know why I did that one. But that one, it's funny. But I think it has decent commentary on yeah. like how crazy they want to go. I feel like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I don't know if it was choreographed, but he has length. Oh, he's, but, he's a tall man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but instead, he gets into range of Bruce Lee <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to fight him instead of using his length to his advantage. Yeah. That um, just annoyed me. Is, I feel like they definitely should have used him for one of the lower floors. Yeah. Maybe, but but they only had footage of those two floors, right? They have three floors. Oh, um, yeah. So they had Dan, Dan in the Santo in the Santo. Yeah, yeah. So the nunchuck guy, nunchuck guy, and then they have the I forgot what the style is, but they got in the white. Uh, oh gi. yes, yes. Yeah, there's that guy, and then they had um, the final floor. I don't remember. I think those are that's three, four, and five. Okay. So they don't have one and two. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I yeah. I, I feel like. Um, I feel like Hakeem should have been a lower floor where he's like a big guy and that's like the challenge of him, but he's inexperienced with martial arts and that's why Bruce Lee's able to take advantage of him. There's a, I don't know the exact story, uh, but I know in the documentary, I think uh, The Way of the Warrior, Mm. he has the whole footage, it's dubbed over differently. But he's a demon or a vampire. See, that's what I was talking about. He <laughs> does remember the videos he sent me. Okay. Underworld. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're talking about. But he has a light sensitivity for some reason. And so that's when in, he's wearing the in the film, and yeah. Goes like- and he does that. And it, it's very brief, but in the actual movie, yeah. It, or in the actual like footage, it's like an emphasis on like the light and him bursting like holes into the into the, the paper yeah so yeah. It, it, that's not even that's not even like could that's part of the movie <laughs> underworld versus underworld you're talking about like underworld as in like a pronoun a versus pronoun, a yeah. regular noun okay yeah okay i i i get what you're saying now but <laughs> that's not me making stuff up this is like filmed <laughs> i didn't say you made it up <laughs> he was just saying you forgot what he's mentioning yeah 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 i did send you some of those videos yes. yeah yeah there's a lot of i'm so glad you said that yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait who you said what or me say something you said like i don't know what you're talking about oh yeah, yeah. initially <laughs> initially yeah. yeah and then you came back and you said it literally yeah. just out of, out of your mouth <laughs> But yeah, I was, I was so I was watching the final fight scene. And I'm just like, use your arm length, use your leg length. Why do you have to be, be like so tight? Yeah, just be more open because he has the he has the wingspan for it. Yeah, it just didn't bother me. 
Yeah. You got me there. Dunk the ball. <laughs> <laughs> what was the style of that second fight supposed to be then? Second fight? Yeah. Uh, the guy with the white gear. Uh, I don't yeah. remember. It was the a lot style. of throws. Yeah, so I don't. Maybe rem- something similar to that. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but there was a, def- a definitely a style. Um, there's a guy from Way of the Dragon. He's the karate guy in Way of the Dragon. I forgot his name. Well, that's supposed to be karate gi, right? Oh, yeah, well, not this guy, but there's a guy from Way of the Dragon. He was supposed to be on one of the other levels, I okay. believe, but it just never happened. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> that was just extra extra data for Albert that didn't answer his question at yeah. all. I mean, basically the answer is no. You don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know the yeah. style. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> just yeah. totally. Ignore. I just do a little trivia. Like yeah. that was supposed to be a reoccurring character. Instead of answering the, the question with any answer he could have given, he's just like went on a tangent. Okay, Jags and plugs. Uh, subscribe to us on the Sp- Spider Verse. I was I was literally thinking about not messing it up, and then I messed it up. Uh, subscribe to us on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. Uh, YouTube as well. Uh-huh. Uh, like, share. What do you guys think about Game of Death? How would you improve on it? What would you do with the footage? If you had to make a movie of it? Yep. Yeah. Some crazy um, plot. Out of the three movies we've seen so far, what is the worst of the three? We got two more. We got two up. more. We do. And one of them is shouldn't even be in November because I don't even think it's bad, but Okay, then we'll do the bad one first and okay. then we'll do the one that <laughs> none of us thinks is bad second. Yeah, it's just funny. Yeah. I just, just don't think it's a lot to talk about. That's the only thing. I kind of agree with that. There you go. Thank you. Um <laughs> this has been the Legendary Sip Podcast. I join us next time for Dragon Ball Evolution. Uh huh. Yep. Maybe we'll f- Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe we'll find a way to get Hanaro on the podcast. Hanaro, yes. Uh, bye. Bye. bye.